Hi, um, this little video is all about quadratic sequences. Uh, those are sequences for whom the general term is a n squared plus b n plus c, where n is the, is the term number, first term, second term, third term, etc. a, b, c are just numbers. In this case, they're all going to be integers, whole numbers. But um, this is a quadratic sequence. What is its nth term? Well, that's easy. It's uh, 4 n squared plus 3 n minus 5. Ah, there we are. Well, you probably didn't want to know how I did that. Well, I cheated. I, I did it earlier, so I knew the result. But let's uh, start again on the same sequence, showing some working this time, and looking at the differences between successive terms. Now, the first difference between the terms is this sequence of numbers here. The second difference is here. It's the difference between the first difference numbers. And it's 8 every time. And this number being the same tells, it, tells you that you're dealing with a quadratic sequence. It also tells you what the value of a is, the coefficient of n squared, because a is always half this second difference number. So we know that a is 4 in this case. And look what happens now. What we've done is we've taken 4n squared, which is this sequence, and we've taken it away from the original sequence. So in a sense, we've taken away the a n squared away from this, and what we're left with is b n plus c. b n plus c, of course, is a simple linear progression. And it's not too difficult to see that with the first difference of 3, it's going to be 3n, and then when we take away that 3n as well from the original sequence, we're left with a load of minus 5s or negative 5s, so that completes the work. And notice what we've done is we've su subtracted from the original sequence, first of all, the, qu the quadratic term, secondly, the linear term, and thirdly, uh, the constant term. And we've got back to zero here, and we've actually got the sequence that we wanted. So this is the nth term of that sequence, and we've done it. Let's have another look at a problem like this. Let's have a look at this one. This time, the second difference is 4, so the coefficient of the n squared term is 2. Uh, this time, uh, it's a negative 4 for the uh, linear sequence, and now a minus 3 or negative 3 for the whole lot. So here is our nth term of that sequence. We could investigate uh, sequences uh, which uh, behave slightly differently. Here we have a situation where the second difference is negative. Now half of that second difference, remember it's half each time, for the, for the second difference. Half the second difference is minus 10, ne negative 10. Take that away from the original sequence. We've got this. Now I've got a linear sequence, which is uh, minus 9n plus 6 plus 6. And we've done it. So that's uh, quadratic sequences with the method of differences, where you work out, first of all, the quadratic term, take that away from your original sequence, then the uh, linear term, take that away and you're left with the constant term, uh, which is easy to adjust. So you found the three numbers for the sequence that you need quite quickly and easily using this Waldemass applet. And this applet is, is uh, available for you to play around with on Waldemass, so please do so. You can get a new sequence each time just to practice this idea of the method of differences for finding the nth term of quadratic sequences.